Hi, Rick here from The Game Creators. Today we'll look at hosting and joining multiplayer games. I've loaded in Camp Oasis, which comes with Game Guru, one of the demo multiplayer levels. You can see around the level these multiplayer start markers. As I click on the marker and select properties, I can zoom in towards it. This is where the player will spawn into the level. You can change the position and direction the player will appear when they spawn. Camp Oasis has many of these around the level. You can see them here, here and here. When the game starts, players are randomly placed at these start locations. And when you die in a multiplayer game, you get respawned at a random location based on where the markers are. Now let's take a look at how to host a game. If you click on the blue people icon here, you will launch multiplayer mode. This is where you can host and join multiplayer games. When the menu appears, we click on host a game, then play one of your levels, then we choose a level, Camp Oasis in this case. At this point the lobby is created, our friends can then join. When all our friends are in, we can start the game. The level is then sent to each player. Each player's PC loads up the game, and when everyone is ready, the game can begin. A good tip is to use a tool like Skype, and then you can communicate well with your friends while you're hosting and joining. If you're joining a level, you'd use Search for Lobbies. When a lobby appears, you can join it. When everyone is in, the host player will begin the game. You can also chat when in the lobby by using the Enter key. So just like hosting a game, when you join a game, you're spawned into the level and you can run around and play the game. So far, the levels we've shown are using media that comes with Game Guru. If you create a multiplayer level with your own content or items you've brought from the store, then you will have to use Steam Workshop to share your game. By using Steam Workshop, it means that you can share your game with anyone and they do not need to have the same media as you. What's also great is that Game Guru does it all for you. So let's take a look. We're back in multiplayer mode. We're going to host a level. This one's called Crazy World. We have to turn it into a workshop item. That means it will be uploaded to Steam Workshop and shared from there. It will be encrypted and when ready, others will be able to subscribe to the level and play it. The lobby is now set up. Workshop is sharing the level. I've asked my friends to come in and join my lobby. The level will be downloaded to them and when that has happened we can all play my level. We can also chat while we're waiting for that to happen. OK, all my friends are now in the lobby, let's begin the game. I made this level in just 10 minutes. I've used a mix of media, some from the stock media that comes with Game Guru, and some items that are free to download from the store. The weapon, for example, is a free item. Check it out, download it because it's great fun to play in multiplayer mode. This game is a multiplayer deathmatch and we're also bringing out Team Deathmatch very soon. We also expect to expand the possibilities of multiplayer as we develop Game Guru. OK, so that's an introduction on hosting and joining games. We've made it as easy as possible to use. We're looking forward to seeing what you create and maybe 
you'll see one of our team playing you in one of your levels.